I'm so excited to finally be making another video for you guys. Um, I just really want to make this one short and sweet and to the point. I just scribbled some notes down. Um, and I figured I'd make a video while I had the chance. So here goes. I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm going to sound a little strong just coming right out of the box and saying this, but I'm so sick and tired of hearing wonderful, lovely, gorgeous, amazing ladies and girls and women of God think that it's okay to kid around negatively about their self. How they think it's all right to say things about themselves in a negative manner, to tear themselves down under the mask of joking. It's all kidding. It's all fun and games. Um, because Proverbs 18 says that life and death is in the power of our tongue. And um, so many times I feel like we forget this because we live in a society that has made it okay for us to talk negatively about ourselves and for us to kid about ourselves and to say things about ourselves that are not positive. But they've also made it to where when we say things that are uplifting and positive about ourselves, we're labeled as full of ourselves or conceited simply because we don't cut ourselves down. And I feel like it should not be more acceptable to tear yourself down and to joke about things in a negative light about yourself than it is to lift yourself up, to say it out loud, to lift yourself up. Um, I haven't really talked to my mom about sharing this, but I really, I don't think she'll have a problem with me saying this, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and do it. And I'll ask her before I post this if I can say it, but, well, maybe, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, my mom went through a stage in her life where she was just hearing all kinds of things from the enemy, telling her that she wasn't a good enough mom, she wasn't a good enough wife, she wasn't as good as she should be. She wasn't everything that she should be. And I know as teenage girls, we hear that all the time. We hear that we're not beautiful. We hear that we're not, we're not as smart as everyone else. We hear that we're not as funny. Our personalities aren't as great. And a lot of times we capitalize on, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous. But I know for me and for most of the girls that I've talked to, their insecurity doesn't always come from their looks more than anything, it comes from feeling like they're not normal, from feeling like there's something wrong with them mentally. Um, and because of that, we can't always rely on other people to give us the compliments that we want to hear, to lift us up. Sometimes we have to encourage ourselves in the Lord, say things that we want to hear, that we want to believe about ourselves, that we want to be true. Say it until we believe it. But Anyway, my mom was going through this time where she felt like she just wasn't good enough. And she prayed and she asked God to take those feelings away from her. And this is going to sound very weird, especially in a society that feels like it's not okay to encourage yourself. But she would just start uplifting herself. I would hear her from the other side of the house saying, man, I am awesome. I am wonderful. I am smart. I am funny. I'm a great mom. I'm a great wife. Anytime the enemy would say things to her that were against what the Bible said about her, she would speak positively into her own life out loud, not just in her mind, but out loud until she believed it. And I said one day, I was like, well, mom, I've, I've noticed that you're really pretty confident lately. And it kind of scared me at first. I was kind of like, whoa, is she getting full of herself? What's going on here? But the more I was around it, the more it began to rub off on me. And not a whole lot of people, actually, I don't know, a pretty good amount of people know that I used to be extremely insecure, very insecure. I felt like there was something wrong with me mentally because I'm sometimes can be a little bit eccentric. Um, I felt like I wasn't pretty enough. I wasn't cool enough. I wasn't sociable enough. Um, and I relied on other people to give me the encouragement that I needed. But 
when my mom started saying these things and I started hearing my mom encouraging herself and she wouldn't say it in a prideful way. She wasn't saying it in a way that sounded like she was full of herself. She was just saying it in faith. She was saying it to encourage herself and to lift herself up. And I began to say th those things anytime I would feel like I was worthless. Anytime I would feel like I was not good enough, I would say, man, you know what? I'm awesome. I'm funny. Anytime, it did not matter where I was, and I'm still that way now. Now it's a habit. Anytime I get a thought in my mind that goes against what the Word of God says about me, it doesn't matter where I am. If you're around me, you'll probably hear me say at some point in time, just yell out to the top of my lungs, I am amazing, or Sheridan Grace Burkett is awesome. And because I started saying those things, I began to believe those things. Because I was so used to saying negative things about myself, joking around about how I wasn't pretty, joking around about how I wasn't awesome, how I wasn't all these things. When I began to say what I was and claim what the Bible says that I was out loud, I began to believe it for myself. Um, so I just want to challenge all of you guys today. And um, right now, you may not be feeling like you're inadequate. Right now, you may be feeling, yeah, I'm awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm great. <laughs> uh, I've kind of lost my train of thought for a second. Excuse me. Um, but regardless, those thoughts and those feelings of inadequacy and of insecurity are going to come. It does not matter your age. You never outgrow it. I've talked to so many women who they feel like they're not good enough moms. They're not good enough wives. Um, and it's one of those things you have to learn to dance in the rain. You've got to learn to walk out in the middle of the rain, in the middle of the thunder and the hail and the rocks that are falling down on you that are saying that you're not good enough, that you're not enough. You have to learn to walk out in the storm and scream up to the sky, I am amazing, I am wonderful, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So this is just kind of a simple, simple challenge to you guys. Anytime you feel like you are inadequate, anytime you even think to, just say out loud, I want you to say it out loud, don't just say it in your head, that you are wonderful, that you are awesome. Say what you want to feel like you are. If you feel like you are the opposite of something, say that you are what you feel like you aren't. If you feel like you aren't cool, you aren't sociable, you're not friendly, say out loud, I am friendly and I am funny and I make people feel good. Say it, and I guarantee you, you will begin to believe it about yourself. And what you believe you are, you will become. So anyway, I love you guys. Um, I hope you got a little something from this video. Make a video response. I want to I wanna see videos of you guys saying that you are awesome. Saying the things that the Bible says that you are. If you guys want to, please do it, because I want to see it. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful rest of the summer. There's only a couple weeks left in it. But um, have a great rest of the summer. I love you guys. I hope to get some more videos up before the summer's out, of course. But yeah, I love y'all. Remember, you're awesome.